Hey everybody, as we read New Hope this week, there will be some words that you may need to um, know or understand that we probably haven't seen before. First word, brisk. Brisk means quick and lively. So here I have a picture of the American flag that is blowing in the wind. So you would describe the wind as brisk. It's moving quickly and it's very lively. So when you say something is brisk, it's moving quickly. Next we have doe. A doe, D-O-E, is a female de deer. So it's a girl deer. And here's a picture of a female deer. Next is leather. Leather is material made from animal skin. So you might see leather on your shoes. Your shoes may be made out of leather. Or your jackets may be made out of leather. But it's a material made from animal skin. Next we have shed. A shed is a small building used for storing things. So here's a picture of a shed that you might put lawn mowers in, you might put um, cars in, you might put rakes or stuff that you use that you might put in the garage or things that you don't use very often. Next we have recycling. We should all be familiar with recycling. We're using throwaway items for another purpose. So here's the sign for recycling. So we're taking something and we're making it into something new. Next we have fabric. Fabric is a type of cloth. So you may make a t-shirt out of the fabric, you may make a blanket out of a fabric. So it's a different type of cloth that you use to make stuff. Next word is citizens. Citizens are people who were born in a country or who choose to live in and become a member of a country. So everyone in this classroom is probably United States citizens. Because you were either born in the country or you moved to the country and became a member. You may be a, a citizen of another country as well. Next we have adopted. Adopted is to take as one's own. So you're taking something that isn't yours and you're making it yours. So here's a picture of a lady who adopted a dog. The dog was n didn't belong to anyone, but this lady adopted it, and now it is hers. So there you go, some words for this week.